Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic is word problems, dealing with multiplying fractions, and we have six examples for you. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number one is multiplying basic fractions. It says half the dogs at the dog park today were wearing red collars. Of these, three-fifths were Labradors. What fraction of the dogs at the park were Labradors with red collars? So we know that half of the dogs were wearing red collars, and it says of these, three-fifths were Labradors. So we need to find one-half of the three-fifths. So half the dogs at the park, and then the three-fifths that were Labs. Of means multiply, so we're going to take one-half and multiply it by three-fifths. To multiply fractions, we're just going to multiply across the top. 1 times 3 is 3, and multiply across the bottom. 2 times 5 is 10, and then see if we can reduce at the end. 3 tenths is not reducible, and so our answer is 3 tenths of the dogs at the park were Labradors with red collars. Problem number 2 is also multiplying basic fractions. It says of all the cars in the parking lot, five-sevenths of them had dog bumper stickers. One-fourth of the cars with dog bumper stickers were green. What fraction of cars in the lot are green with a dog bumper sticker? So we know that five-sevenths of the cars in the parking lot had the dog bumper stickers, and this is the part that tells you to multiply. It says one-fourth of the cars with the bumper stickers are green, and it wants to know which are green with the dog bumper stickers. So again, we need to find 5 sevenths of 1 fourth. Or 5 sevenths of means multiply 5 sevenths times 1 fourth. To multiply fractions, we simply multiply the numerators or multiply across the top. 5 times 1 is 5. And multiply the denominators across the bottom. 7 times 4 is 28. And then we need to see if we can reduce. 5 over 28 does not have a factor in common. And so that's the answer to my question. 5 28ths of the cars in the lot are green with a dog bumper sticker. Problem number three is multiplying a fraction and a whole number. It says a property owner has nine acres of land. Three-fifths of the land is forest. How many acres of the land is forest? So here's the key to show you that it's multiplication. It says three-fifths of the land, and the word of means multiply. So we're going to multiply 9 by 3 fifths. We could put 9 over 1 to show the fraction and then do what we did in the past two problems. 9 times 3 multiply across the top is 27 and 1 times 5 multiplying across the bottom is 5 and I get 27 fifths which is an improper fraction and so I can rewrite that as a mixed number by taking 5 and dividing it into 27. 5 divides into 27 5 full times. 5 times 5 is 25. And when I subtract, I have left over 2 out of 5. And so in mixed number form, it would be 5 and 2 fifths acres of the land that would be forest. There is a shortcut whenever you multiply a whole number by a fraction. It's always going to be the whole number multiplied by the numerator, 9 times 3 is 27, put back over the denominator. So you don't have to necessarily put it over 1, and it can shorten the time that it takes to solve the problem. You would still need to change it back to a mixed number, but that's going to always be the same process. So my answer is, either way, 5 and 2 fifths. Problem number four is multiplying a mixed number and a whole number. It says a box of dog treats weighs one and two-thirds pounds. There are 12 boxes in each crate to be shipped to the store. What is the weight of the boxes in the crate? So there's really nothing in this problem that tells you that you have to multiply. But if you think about it, I have 12 boxes in a crate, and each of those is weighing one and two-thirds pounds. So I need one and two-thirds pounds 12 times. So that's what I'm going to do. Multiply 1 and 2 thirds times 12. And to do that, I'm going to write both of those as fractions. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, back over 3, times 
12 over 1 in its fraction form. And now I can just multiply across the top. 5 times 12 is 60. Multiply across the bottom. 3 times 1 is 3. And 60 divided by 3 is actually a clean division. 60 divided by 3 tells me that there will be 20 pounds of dog treats in the crate. Problem number five is multiplying two mixed numbers. It says it took an experienced craftsman two and three-fourths hours to build a birdhouse. It took a hobby builder three and a half times as long to build. How many hours did it take the hobby builder? So the key word in here is actually the word times. It took three and a half times as long as the experienced craftsman. So I'm going to take the two and three quarter hours that it took the experienced craftsman and multiply that by three and a half times the length of out number of hours that it took the hobby builder. To do that, I'll write both as fractions. So four times two is eight plus three is 11 over four times two times three is six plus one is seven over two. And now I just have two fractions like I had in the past few problems. Multiply across the top, 11 times seven is 77. Multiply across the bottom, four times two is eight. And now I can change that back into a mixed number. So eight divides into 77 nine times eight is 72 and 77 minus 72 i have left over five out of eight so 77 over eight would be equal to nine and five out of eight hours it would take the hobby builder to build the birdhouse problem number six is again multiplying two mixed numbers it says a rectangular banner to announce the opening of a new dog rescue measured eight and three-fifths feet by three and three fourths feet. What is the area of the banner? So there's nothing in this problem that says multiply, except for the fact that I know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. And so my length of eight and three fifths by my width of three and three fourths. So area is equal to length times width. I'm going to multiply eight and three fifths by three and three fourths. To do that, I'm going to write both of those as fractions. Five times eight is 40 plus three is 43 over five times four times three is 12 plus the three is 15 back over four. And again, like we did in the rest of the problems, I'm gonna multiply across the top, 43 times 15. If you punch that into a calculator, you'll get 645, and five times four is 20, so 645 over 20. Now I can rewrite that back as a mixed number. 20 divides into 645. So 20 divides into 64 three full times. Three times 20 is 60. When I subtract those, I get a four, and when I drop the five, I need 20 divided into 45, which is twice. Two times 20 is 40, and I have left over five out of 20. And so 645 over 20 would be 32 and five over 20. Five over 20 has a common factor of five, so I can reduce that fraction by five over five to get my final answer. The area of the banner then is 32, and five divided by five is one, 20 divided by five is four, and so it would be 32 and one fourth square feet for the area of the banner. So that's it. Six examples of word problems dealing with multiplying fractions. Keep working hard. Don't ever give up. Keep practicing and you'll be sure to get it. If we can answer any questions or help you out in any way, please just let us know in the comments. And as we say at Math Dogs, you got this.